Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see how to publish and subscribe from ActiveMQ. So mainly, we are going to drop some message into ActiveMQ and uh, once that is published, we are going to subscribe it from ActiveMQ as well. So ActiveMQ, uh, we are going to use it for publish me subscribe message pattern. If you wanted to send any message uh, to the queue or topic, uh, we can use publish subscribe message pattern. So this is this will work as asynchronous. For example, if you publish the data to the message uh, queue or topic, then what will happen? The subscriber can subscribe it at any time. So they no need to be active at that time. Uh, so they no need to be synchronous that time. So it can it can happen in the asynchronous manner. So if you have a requirement, we have to publish some data and you have to subscribe it in asynchronous manner. Then you can uh, prefer using this publish subscribe message button. So mainly for this video, we are going to use active MQ as a JMS provider, which is going to act as a broker where we can store our queues and topic. And uh, there we are going to publish it. And from there we are going to subscribe it as well. So in order to do that, uh, we are going to follow these steps today in this demo. So first I'm going to download the active MQ. So I'll just open this particular URL and I'll, I'll download it. So once you open this, you will have few options. The first one you just you use it active MQ five. And here based on your uh, operating system, you download it. I'm using Windows operating system. So I'm going to download this zip file. Okay, so I'll just click that it will download it. So this has a installation. So we just need to unzip it. That's it. So the installation, everything will be ready in our system. So it's like a pluggable software. So we have to unzip it. So I have downloaded it i'll just go to this folder i'll just copy this one i'll put it into some other folder i'll put it into this c colon maybe i'll try to put it in the c colon folder itself and i'll just keep continue it's downloaded and i'll just uh, we copied i'll just unzip it extract all i'm just extracting in the same folder itself or if you wanted to change to some other name also just change it i'll just keep it like apache active mq the place we have downloaded it's from the apache and uh, this is a software from apache so that's why uh, the folder name is having apache active mq so it's extract it's getting extracted so once extracted we are going to start that mq so just go to this folder and go to this bin folder and this active mq jar we are going to run it so in order to run that you just go to this command bar right and then you just type cmd so once you type CMD, it will open the command prompt and it will open till that particular folder. So now I'm going to start or run this active MQ. So I'll just type active MQ, give space and give start. Enter. So it will start the active MQ in your machine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to this particular page. What we have done, we have downloaded it. I'll just make this to completed. Unzip it. So we have done it. And from the installation path, we are starting the active MQ. So that also done. Okay. So we use this command active MQ start, right? So that is also completed. So now I'll just open this admin URL just to see whatever we have started, right? That is working fine as expected. I'll open this in a separate window admin. See here, it is asking for a username and password. You can give a username as admin and password as admin and click sign in. See here, you will be able to see this page is loaded with the details and you just go to the queues. As of now, we have not created any queue. That's why it's empty. So here you can click create to create the queue. I'll just go back to our notepad again. So we are able to start and we are able to see uh, it's up and running. So we saw this one. So now we are going to create the queue. I'll go to this admin window. I'm just going to create a queue and uh, this one I'll just say uh, I'll name it like test queue. Okay. So this is my queue name test queue. So you can have any any name. I'll just click create. See here the queue got created. And once you click this queue, right? And you have you are you are able to see there is no consumer because we just created a queue and there is no one is listening to that particular queue. So that is why the subscriber or the consumer it's empty for that particular queue. We'll go back to the queue. We'll be able to see the queue name and number of pending messages zero because we have not published anything. Now I'll go to notepad again. So we have just created a 
MQ now. Okay, so from active MQ side, whatever the configuration we have to do for the queue creation or uh, starting up the server, everything is done. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create a mule project and from there we are going to publish some message to this particular test queue. So I'll go to Anypoint Studio, I'll just create a new project for this particular demo. I'll name it like active MQ. Active MQ pops up. Okay, so I'll just say active MQ pops up demo. I'll just click finish. The project is getting created. So once it's created, I'll just quickly create one simple flow in order to publish the message to that particular test queue. See the project is created and this particular flow, right? I'll just rename this to refactor, click rename. And I'm going to use this as a publish flow, okay? Because I'm going to create another one to subscribe as well. So I'm just keeping this name as very meaningful. So I'm just saying this as a publish flow. Okay, the file got renamed now. I'll just double click it. And now what I'm going to do is, uh, for this demo, we are going to publish uh, something into that particular test queue in ActiveMQ. So before that, we need to trigger something in order to initiate this particular flow. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a HTTP listener. And in that listener, I'm going to receive some data and whatever data I'm going to receive it through this HTTP listener, that only I'm going to send it to my active MQ. So I'll just configure the HTTP connection. I'll leave this port as default and I'll just give OK. And this resource endpoint, I'll just give like publish. And I'll just come to this listener, general, this name, I'll change it to meaningful. And I'll just say post method and I'm going to publish it. Publish is my endpoint. Okay, so in advance also, I'll just change this to post because we are going to post some message. Okay, now the listener configuration for HTTP is complete. I'm going to add a module. So there is a module called JMS. I'm going to drag and drop into our project. So once you drag and drop it, you see the left side. As of now, it is having only HTTP module and socket module. So I'm just dragging and dropping the JMS module into our project. It's added. And also you see here, there's a JMS module related jars also got added into our project. So now using JMS only, we are going to connect to ActiveMQ. This JMS model will help to connect to many JMS uh, provider like Solace uh, MQ or Solace Q or uh, ActiveMQ or many other JMS provider, we can use this JMS model. So we are going to publish some message. I'll use publish. I'll drag and drop into our canvas. So here we need to configure uh, whatever it is required for our JMS configuration. So first I'll just go to global element. I'll create the configuration which required to connect to ActiveMQ first. I'll click create and I'll add a JMS config. I'll click OK. See here the connection ActiveMQ connection is there. Generic is there. I'll use ActiveMQ connection. And here we have to add a required JAS. I'll just click configure and I'll add a recommended libraries. So it's asking this particular jar you wanted to add. I'll just say OK. So once everything is done, right, it'll automatically it will click the checkbox. Now you j just let it scroll down. We have to configure the username and password, which we already know. It's an admin admin. And in the connection factory section, there's a factory configuration. You just change that to edit inline where you need to configure your broker URL. So whatever we have opened, this is the admin URL. Broker runs in a different port. So that URL is this one. I'll just copy that and I'll paste it here. So now we have configured the broker URL, admin, username, password as admin, admin. And also we have configured the required broker and uh, client related jars. Now I'll do a test connection just to check from MuleSoft, we are able to connect to ActiveMQ or not. So in this demo, I'm using ActiveMQ installed in my machine. In actual scenario, we'll be using the actual server which is deployed or running in a different server. I'll give OK. So the test connection is successful, which means using the JAWS, MuleSoft is able to talk to ActiveMQ. So now I'll give OK. I'll come to my flow, click publish again. Connector configuration, we just created through global elements, right? Which I will select it here. 
and destination it's a queue name because the destination type is queue if you want to send it to topic you can change it to topic but what we have created as part of this demo is queue so what queue we have created i'll just go here the queue name is test queue i'll just copy that and i'll paste it in our queue name see here it's done and this warning also it will go now so whatever it's required everything is done here what we are going to send it we are going to send the payload which is coming to this particular flow i'll save this one and i'll just run this project so meanwhile i'll open the postman application because we are going to publish or we are going to send some message through http so i just opened the postman meanwhile our project is coming up in any point studio so in the from the postman i'm going to send some message some test message i'm going to send it see here it's a, i'll just open a new window here i'll change the method to post because our listener is listening via this post method only so i'll just change it to post and our application in mule soft it's running in 8081 port slash and you go to the this one so we just name that resource endpoint as publish so i'll just give publish because that is what we have given in the configuration this is a description but again in the configuration also we gave the resource endpoint as publish so i gave publish now i'll go to the content type i'm going to send some message as a json so i'll just say what is the content type i'm posting the data i'll say content type application slash json and body i'm going to send some message so i'll select this raw option and here json option is selected if it is not selected you just go and select it as a json i'm going to send some message i'll send some object so whatever it's starting with curly braces and closing with curly braces that is called object so normally object will have a key and pair so my this message is key and colon and then the value is here so i'll say uh, hello from postman client to mule soft okay so this one i'm sending the message one okay i'll say message one so now i'm going to send that so before that i'll just go to my anypoint studio just to see my project is showing deployed status yeah it's showing deployed status and there is no error for this particular project i'll go and run it from postman so what we are doing is we are just trying to send the message to our mule application so it's saying 200 which means our application has received the data i'll just go here see here there is no error and i'll just go back to our active mq i'll refresh this page earlier it was zero okay and i'll just refresh this page or you just click this queues button see here number of message pending message turned to one which means this particular queue has received your message so i'll just click this one and it will show the where this particular message is originated and there is some correlation id and then message detail and timestamp all the details are there and if i click view consumers there is no consumer yet because we are not listening to this queue to subscribe the message so as of now only queue is there and which received this message successfully now what i will do so the first part is done so we know how to publish the message to active mq through jms module so now i'll just create another flow i'll just create a another configuration file itself and i'll name this as a subscribe flow or subscribe okay or subscribe demo or anything so i'll just click finish here also i'll just go to jms module so whenever there is a message i just wanted to listen it or i wanted to receive it so how do i do it i'll just add a on new message and go to mule properties and connector configuration i'll use a jms coming jms config which is the same config which is pointing to the same active mq server which queue or destination i wanted to subscribe the message our queue name is test queue and consumer test type is queue consumer okay so now the queue configuration related to subscribe the message from active mq it's done now okay so now i'll just add a simple logger message just to see this particular message as subscribed and i'll just name i'll give some comment or uh, message like 
message has been subscribed and i'll add a i'll include a payload as well and then i'll save it this project is already running if i go to the console so whatever the changes we have done right it's trying to deploy it to the mule runtime which is running in embedded runtime in a anypoint studio see here the message has been subscribed so what has happened we have published it and there was a message in the queue that has been subscribed as well i'll just go to this active mq earlier there was a number of pending message one right i'll just refresh this page you'll be able to see zero because the message has been subscribed and i'll just click this test queue view consumer you will be able to see four consumer because there are four threads which is listening to that particular message and one of them might have received it okay so why there are four because if you come to your configuration on new message if you scroll down a bit and you have number of consumer is four so there is there are four consumer which is listening to that message and uh, any one of them will subscribe that message so what we have understood and uh, okay i'll publish one more time because uh, the publish also running and subscribe also running right so i'll just send another message to the same queue okay so we'll run it from the postman right i'll send uh, another message message 2 i'll just send it if you come and see your log right you'll be able to see the message has been subscribed and message 2 because that is coming from the subscribe flow so what we understood today using jms module how to connect to active mq and also how to download how to install how to run the active mq and also from mulesoft how to publish the message to active mq and also how to subscribe from active mq the same thing only whatever we have tried today it is all about the queue okay so if you want to create a topic then you can give a topic name and you can select the topic here so there is something called here topics from here you can create the topic as well and then similarly you can subscribe from topic as well thank you uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye